boy scars on my back. Scars across my face. Why are we brutally beaten and forced into marriage? Why should you wait to be forced to marry? Run away, come to school. I was going to hang myself. Many of my friends have committed suicide as a result of forced marriage, and this is bad. When one of us wins, we all win. We have a bad road with the parents around those who want to remove their girls. They abuse us, they do what, they threaten our rivals. This school started in 1994. Its founder is the late Bishop Paddy de Taban, who worked tirelessly. And how the school started, they were on run. The school was supposed to be in Toledo. That is, during the war, they kept on running here and there until they landed to Narus. The first classroom and dormitory were grass searched houses. During the day, they could use a class, their class. At night, they use it as a dormitory. I'm impressed because of the patience they had with the first girls who persevered in that situation. Those days, our headmistress was uh, Cesarita. That was the first sister who actually mentored us. There is a song we say, Mama Rita, Rita, eh, eh, Mama Rita. That, that is when you, she's coming now to the school. Maybe she has gone somewhere and she's coming back. The same with Paride, who sing like our Baba. So most of us, by that time, we even forgot our parents. We started in nursery and everything was good, though it was not easy. Because during our time also, that was during war, we have been interrupted by Antinop. Antinop can come and sometimes we go missing classes for two or one day. We run to the bush and the sisters who are with us, actually as I mentioned, Cesarita and Bishop Aride, who are too young, but we manage with the grace of God as sometimes we put prayers first. We can assemble, we pray. As we are praying, the Antinope also can interrupt the prayers. We run to the bush. We continue with the prayers there at the bush. The main purpose of starting the girls' school, Bishop had a vision and a desire to bring girls up, to train them as leaders because the girls were left behind. Girls were looked at as a, to get property, marriage. That was the idea of the locals. 
So Bishop Paride fought to make sure that the girls are brought to school. And during that time also it was not easy for him. Girls were kept in hiding, some people could come and take, parents could take them. But slowly by slowly those who survived, survived. When these children were at P7, uh, Bishop asked me, Sister, what shall we do? When we go to our annual meeting, let us propose secondary. So in order for others maybe not to say I'm supporting one side, you will stand for it and I will support you. And I stood there. Other people are saying, no, no, no. The secondary cannot be there. I said, but we want us to teach children to reach P6, 7, and they go home. I stood, you know, I had the courage from God. I said, we are opening secondary and primary is continuing. Actually, when we went for break, I said, sister, if you leave it, it will disturb you. I said, even if I leave, there are people who disturb me. Let me be disturbed more. We are starting. As I came in 2014, life was not peace. And in my coming, when I reached, I said, God, will I manage? The situation was not good. From time to time, we could say, hey, the God is taken, the God is taken. Children go for holiday, you find that is some are not coming back. I was born in Duotokapeta, North County. My father told my mom to go to the village. We went up to the village. When I was about 10 years old, he chased my mom away with me. I came to school in 2017. That was when I was 12 years. I came to school, sister received me and said, okay, you can be one of us in the school. In 2019, when I was in primary two, my uncles came. They want to take me back to the village and forced me a man. They were attacking my mother thoroughly. My mother refused. My mother took them to police. My mother was very tough, cannot accept me to be taken back to the village. And I stay in the school up to now. I'm staying in the school. Holidays we remain as champions. Many of us who remain in the school, we play. The little sister gets, we eat. She didn't get, we stay. My father gave me a man. I can't believe that. Why they take me to that person? By the time that man arrived me, so I was sad and I scared. I say, even though he raped me, but I will go, I will never stay here. I will not be grant and I gave birth to your children. I will never do that. That following day, they take me again to my father's house. They came me again. That way am I talking like that? Then my mother slapped me because I say that I will never stay in that man again. I will not even get back to that man, children. Then I recited. I cannot continue like this suffering April day. The following day, I ran like that without knowing even my way, where am I going to go? They searched me, they get me. Again, they beat me thoroughly. I was going to hang myself. Actually, the, the culture is torturing those, the girl child so much. So they can torture them at the age of six, they want a young child of six to marry an old man who have cows, because the old man pays them a lot of cows. Some of them, they were telling us that they can tie you and beat you and beat you. They always come here with bruises. This false marriage will not take us forward, it will not take us ahead. You found parents like that girl which eyes was pricked, it was by the parent. 
by the father actually, biological father, hmm? removing the high of his daughter out just because of dowry. These girls could come in school, some have uh, been raped, traumatized, uh, scared to stay alone and uh, time of holiday, uh, people have right to go for holiday. So I, I decided to stay with them, at least to encourage them and to be with them. Uh, it has been challenging because they feel like they are rejected. They feel like they, they are not human beings. The, the challenge is how now to bring this person back to know that she is worthy, she is a human being, and this is just a cultural thing. So I've been having time with them, talking with them. Not easy because of the language barrier sometimes. Not easy because um, of the things you, you must have at least to convince this person to feel close to you. When they come, they have nothing. They have nothing completely because they have just ran from the village with those satires of theirs, there is nothing. So we have been having challenges of the, their like weddings, like soap, and, uh, and those whole things that girls should have at least to survive. My message to, my, to our parents or our, our community is that a girl might believe to grow to be a grown-up person, to know her right, what is good for her and what is bad for her, to choose a man of her choice, not to be forced to old men. Girls lose their lives because of forcing them to men they don't want. Now I am in school, I'm very happy to be in school and it was my first time to be in school. I am so appreciate those who brought me to school. I am so happy for them. May God bless them. We encourage the partners to go to the grassroots, to go down there, to talk to the people, to give awareness on the bad effects of the forced marriage when a child is still young.